Good day, Hudson Valley. I'm your host, Lisa Kaslin, and welcome to our show, where we bring you the best of what's happening and who's happening in Putnam, Westchester, and Dutch. Today, we have a very special guest. Uh, we bring to you Mary Ellen O'Dell, the newly reelected county executive. And we asked Mary Ellen to come on to talk about some of her past achievements, but more importantly, what's the vision for Putnam County in 2015? Welcome. Thank so you. So good to Thank have you. you. So you guys have done a lot, a lot of great work. Um, but I think you know everybody wants to know what's next. What's going to happen in 2015? Well, we're going to build on what we've already established, and um, you know we're we're going to look forward to furthering our partnership with the business community, our local not for profits, and uh, you know being the county executive for a county whose economy is driven by Main Street, mm -hmm. the small business owners, we're sort of focusing right now on on helping them sustain their business, grow their business. Mm -hmm. You know that always helps everyone, sales tax revenue and, and job opportunities. So we're looking to further that, mm -hmm. and uh, you know we have some ideas as far as using our transportation system. Yeah. Mobility is very important when it comes to commerce. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, the Putnam County Chamber of Commerce has been an awesome partner with us. We've mm -hmm. engaged them with a contract for advertising. Mm -hmm. We're very excited about the revenue opportunities to help stem the costs of this transportation program and at the same time help our local businesses like Putnam Hospital Center um, advertise yeah. that, that they're here and that they're open for business. So you've essentially rebranded the transportation system and kind of given it a facelift, right? We have. We That's have. Right. You know, the transit system has been in the county for 30 years and I would challenge Eight of ten people probably didn't even know that it existed. And uh, it, the routes have never changed since the day it came on the scene, which I found to be uh, very disturbing because, you know, so many of our hubs now are where the people are. Mm -hmm. When you talk about all of the housing, uh, senior housing groups, for an example, mm -hmm. where they are, and, and those are the, the folks you know that's the community that we want to really get out to move around and to shop and mm -hmm. to see our tourist destinations mm -hmm. you know we have uh, three rail li two rail lines but but three hubs mm -hmm. for train stops and we, we've got to get people to the, to the trains Agreed. and um, Putnam Moves is the new systems brand we're very excited about it okay. people may see these buses now yeah. with um, some images of the county uh -huh. throughout them, and we have a, a great PR firm <laughs> helping us rebrand uh, our transportation system. We're very excited about yeah, that. It's yeah. great. Uh, I want to kind of bridge to uh, not not such an exciting subject, but something that we we do need to talk about. We we re recently talked to uh, Sue Salomon. She she was on the yeah. show from Drug Crisis in Our Backyard, mm -hmm. and I know you've been working with her. Uh, and you know we were recently designated uh, as a high int intensity drug trafficking area, mm -hmm. which is um, you know pr pretty uh, upsetting. That said, uh, I know that your administration has really taken action on this, and you've just uh, launched a, a campaign, right? One, one, one war. army on the war on addiction. Yeah, we did. We unveiled it at our budget. Okay. We, uh, you know, we've been looking at what's been going on in Putnam County, what's been affecting not only our youth, mm -hmm. but our, you know, our population in some total, and while the focus seems to be on heroin and opiates a lot of the time. We recognize that it's really substance abuse mm -hmm. across the board, and it touches everyone. It's yeah. not just the kids; no. it's our returning veterans. Yes. It's uh, you know, it's it's women. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's just it's something that w our administration always looks at everything from a social and a fiscal perspective. Mm -hmm. And obviously the social issues are there. You know, mm -hmm. families are, you know, there's been heartbreaking tragedies mm -hmm. in our families. And then the fiscal responsibility, if you look at the numbers, mm -hmm. what addiction costs taxpayers, yeah. it's, out, it's yeah, really, it's, um, it's disturbing. So what I decided to do was include in our 2015 budget some personnel for law enforcement. Uh, Sheriff Smith had asked for two deputies for the western part of the county where the uh, numbers are climbing. Mm -hmm. So we put two deputies over there and we also added an investigator position. And that's in a personnel perspective. As far as funding for programs, we're going to continue to support Joe DiMarzo, our deputy uh, commissioner for the Youth Bureau, mm -hmm. and his team in making sure that they're getting in the schools and helping them out. And of course we have the terrific program that Judge Reitz has always been in front of, and that's treatment court. And that's helping people with addiction get the um, proper 
tools that they need so that they can, you know, re-enter society and, and keep their family intact yeah, at that, the same time. That's great. Now, obviously, it's November. Veterans Day just passed, so mm -hmm. our vets are top of mind, um, as they should be. The suicide rates among this community uh, is skyrocketing, you know, mm -hmm. especially when you compare apples to apples uh, on the civilian side. How are you now? I, I understand that you're expanding the Veterans Services Agency, right? And I think you've you've added more resources there. And yeah. You're, yeah. So tell us a little bit more about what's going on. Sure. With that. Thank you. We. Um, and again, I'd like to say Happy Veterans Day yeah. to all of our our service men and women for having served our country and. Our veterans are, are very, very important to us in, in Putnam County. And I've been working with them even prior to joining county government. Mm -hmm. I was um, privileged and honored to help bring the Gold Star Mother statue here to Putnam County, which mm -hmm. we're proud to yes. say we're the first national Gold Star Mother's mm -hmm. um, home. So, uh, you know, the full-time director position for our veterans affairs was something that we knew we had to put in the budget because our returning veterans and even those who are maybe aging mm -hmm. are looking for services and it, the government is just not keeping up with right. the process and the application. So we thought it was incredibly important that we convert the part-time position to full-time. And uh, Carl Rohde, who's been very, very active in the vet veterans community, we're very fortunate that he'll be taking on, on that role. And, you know, there's, um, there's so much to be said about their contribution. Mm -hmm. You know, I look at our veterans not only as, you know, being the those who who keep us free, mm -hmm. but they're our teachers. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have the opportunity to sit and speak with a returning they're veteran. They're historians. They yeah. are. I, I, you know, I've been honored to attend three honor flights mm -hmm. where I've been the guardian for three of our World War II, uh, you know, the oh, greatest wow. generation. Yeah, absolutely. And their stories yeah, are just riveting. so, yeah, they're just so compelling and, and it's history. It's, yeah. it's true American history. Well, we thank you for that. So yeah, one of the other, we talk about, you know, the flight from New York. So many people are, are leaving, right, mm -hmm. uh, the state for, for many, many reasons. And I know uh, your administration has started a, a pilot program where you're basically grooming uh, younger folks and trying to keep that talent in the county. Yeah. What's happening with that? Well, we're expanding the pilot Good. program. Uh, I will tell you that we introduced that in our first state of the county, and it came from just being the mom of, of yeah. students, mm -hmm. college students, and, and being the friends of, of women and, and, and um, you know, parents who were raising kids and struggling with opportunities for internship or summer employment. Mm -hmm. And I looked at our workforce in the county and we're aging. Yeah. And there was no succession plan. And uh, it's really been a, an incredible eye-opener. The talent in this county of these, we call them the millennials mm -hmm. now. Yeah. You know, they're, I say they were born with that chip. They just get in front of any device. And uh, as we're looking at all of the, uh, a few millennials right here. It's true. And uh, they just pick it up. They do. So from, from the social perspective, we're giving these uh, young adults an opportunity to you know, expand their skill set and, and see if they like to be in, in government and public service. And at the same time, put a, you know, a couple of dollars in their pockets or get them college credits. And uh, from the taxpayer's point of view, I'll just example, one of the um, requirements for the transportation system was mm -hmm. a federal transportation audit. Mm -hmm. And we had six or seven of our interns perform the audit. And it cost us, if you added up their hourly raise, a, a wage about $9,000. Wow. If we, when we contracted that out, it was about 109000 so kidding. yeah, so don't ask for a raise. <laughs> you're not getting, you're not getting a raise. Uh, but just look at that That's one amazing. example yeah. of taking that talent and bringing them in. So everyone's open to yeah. for application. And actually, we're opening up the applications within the next few weeks. So everyone, Good. look at PutnamCountyNY.gov, our website for the application. And the only uh, thing that we say is it's pre if you're the son or the daughter of a county employee employee you're precluded okay this is well, open for fair. the taxpayers mm -hmm. and um that's that's all you really need to be is just a putnam county resident and uh you know have the the drive to want to be part of a great team that's great and you know uh, in keeping with your comment about uh being tech savvy uh t tell us about the app the Putnam County Cares app. Yeah, Putnam County Cares app is uh, something that we're very proud of. Putnam County, again, 
had uh, very little when it came to pushing out information mm -hmm. and uh, everyone has a smartphone these yes, days absolutely. you know young and old have a smartphone mm -hmm. or they have a tablet mm -hmm. and so many events go on in the county that sh you should be able to access but more importantly when you talk about our veterans and you talk about substance abuse this app is there as a resource mm -hmm. and as a tool there's um, some applications on there if you're questioning whether someone seems a little off and you want to know if maybe substance abuse is, is happening or if maybe they're depressed and, and you're concerned about mm -hmm. their emotional mm -hmm. well-being, you can access the app and it, it'll ask you questions. That's great. And for every answer, it will give you an alert on, yes, you should be concerned. Mm -hmm. And to that, there's also the resource to get help immediately, all uh -huh. local and national hotlines. So, you know, it's, it's, as you know, apps are very fluid. Yeah. You know, we're continuing to update them. Good. We're trying to make them fun mm -hmm. so that people have a whole bunch of reasons mm -hmm. to go to the app, which just, you know, just enhances information. So Putnam County Cares, and it's free, <laughs> and it's available on your Android and your iPhone and your iPad. That's awesome. So uh, a lot of people have, you know, sort of wished for some sort of an education, um, opportunity in the county right we're sort of you know squeezed in between Duchess and Westchester and they've got everything we've got nothing mm -hmm. so Tilly Foster is now under the management of the county right um, and there's been a lot of buzz about uh, a BOCES campus coming to Tilly Foster is that true it is very true Great. what it is is a partnership mm -hmm. you know you are correct uh, Tilly Foster is a county owned facility which means every single taxpayer owns a piece of Tilly Foster mm -hmm. and we have um, made the decision in our administration that we're going to open the gates great. and it will be open for everyone you know we had a great country fair mm -hmm. this fourth of july we had pumpkin palooza mm -hmm. that our director of tourism libby pataki put together mm -hmm. all open free events and for someone who grew up in this county i'm stunned at the amount of people that say you know we've been here our whole lives and we've never been on that property and that's our mission and to your point about education BOCES has a terrific culinary arts program, uh -huh. and we are um, so thrilled about July 2015, where the doors will be open for these students, young and those looking for an sure. encore career, yeah. who are looking for something to do in their you know, adult life. And to that, we're also looking uh, towards the equine. Great program, yeah, to bring some of the you know the heritage uh -huh. of uh, horse um, husbandry back uh -huh. to the farm. We have a a whole bunch of great people working on you know what is best suited for this yeah. farm that's yeah. great that's wonderful we're almost out of time I think we have a graphic for more information we have the Putnam County website uh, information so people can kind of keep up to date with all the, all the great things that you're doing we want to have you back again you've done a great job managing yes. the budget and uh, you know saving us money and that's what it's all about so we want to have you back again I would love to thank you thank you thank you happy holidays everyone have a good day